I remember a few years ago listening to Darren Brown, the mentalist, and he talked about a particular thought exercise, which was along the following lines. You wake up one morning and you realize that there's no one else alive on the planet apart from you. The houses and cars, etc., they're all there, but no people, just you. So which house do you choose to live in? You pretty much got the choice of all of them. Darren suggests that we would go for something practical, comfortable. I agree. I think that's true. Maybe defendable, I would add in, just in case. And what sort of clothing would you wear? Now, probably there would be a period of time where you would realise you could choose anything from any department store and perhaps get a little bit creative. But ultimately, I think that we would all settle on something utilitarian. In other words, aligned with the task at hand, which would be survival. Now, the point that Darren was making was that we can often reach outside of ourselves to grab things which we believe will make us happier. And as often as not, they don't. Instead, we should focus on those things that we do have and appreciate them. I couldn't agree more. But I think there's something else which is happening here. To give you a, a, an example of what I think may be happening additionally, I spoke to a friend of mine about that thought exercise. Now, he loves Porsche cars. He's got a couple of Porsches himself. And I said to him, so what would you do? Would you just drive around like crazy, these empty roads? And he paused, didn't immediately say yes, which surprised me. He paused and he said, well, yeah, probably, but I could see how that would wear a bit thin after a period of time. Isn't that interesting? There's something about the social dynamic. Of course, we're social creatures, we're tribal by nature, we like to be part of something and we enjoy, most of us at least, some kind of interaction. And how we're perceived in a social structure is important to us. But could it be that the choice of house may be too heavily influenced by that, the choice of car, or even to have a car? And could it be that, particularly these days, we are choosing to do things and behave in certain ways which doesn't really align with who we are, with those things that intrinsically make us happy or can make us happy or feel content or better about ourselves. In other words, we can fit in. And there's a lot of people vying for our attention. There's a lot of people vying to sway our opinions in different ways. And yet, if we drift away too far from those things that we value, that we would fight to protect, if we drift away too far from things like honesty, integrity, transparency, the protection of the, the weak and vulnerable, and we just fit in to what we see around us more and more, where it's expedient to jump on some particular bandwagon or turn a blind eye or just say, well, that's just the way these people are, or that's just how it is in that particular echelon of society, then I think all may be lost. We need to speak up. We need to challenge those things that are corrupt, that are quite simply wrong, that debase people, individuals, common decency. We need to say so. And if you think, well, yeah, but what about the leaders? Well, yeah, what about the leaders? And here's a newsflash. You are the leader. 